the programs okay now what i have here is in the program is that uh, i have four threads and i set the value and i uh, in create in uh, two variables thread num and uh, i i is an iterating variable which i'll be using so it will be using for now okay and this is my uh, open mp call where i say open uh, where i set the set uh, number of threads okay and now in this block i'll be explaining about the private class okay here i'll be explaining about the first private class in this block of code and in this block of code i'll be explaining with an example about the last private class along with uh, the ordered class which i'm going to talk in a, in a, in some time okay for now uh, what i need is that i don't need this part of the code so i'm going to uh, comment this out okay i'm going to comment this out I'm, go I'm going to need this I'm going to need this part of the code so what I'm going to do I'm just going to uh, uncomment this format uh, uncomment this okay uncomment this now let's see what's happening uh, here I set the number of threads to be used to be four because of this line over here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to print the value like thread value this thread value before the private before the private class so I'm going to print it over here and then I start the uh, parallel, a parallel block with all open MP parallel, parallel block and I set thread num to be private. Okay. Once uh, thread num is set to be private, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to print the value of thread, thread value for initially inside the parallel block. So since race condition is avoided because of this, when this statement gets printed, the thread value, thread number, since it's not initialized in the top, this will be, uh, some garbage value okay and then using this comma using this line i'm getting a thread number and a, a thread number of the active thread and I'm passing it to the value thread num and then i'm printing the printing the line thread num uh, active thread is thread num and then what i'm going to do is that i'm going to make some correct make some alterations to the thread num value okay uh, i'm adding the thread num value to be uh, incrementing the thread num value by 100 and then i'm printing the value again Printing the value again. Here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to print the thread value, thread number, which is the active thread number and the thread value uh, after the modification, and then I'm ending the parallel block. And then after that, uh, what I'm doing, I'm going to do is I'm going to print the value of thread value after this pri after this parallel block and this private class. Okay. Now, what I have here is that I what I have here in the shell script is the simple uh, shell script which we defined before. For uh, you know. Uh, compiling and uh, compiling and building and executing our for our Fortran code with OpenMP OpenMP classes. So what I'm going to do is that uh, let me raise the screen up, this part of the screen up. Let me clear this up. Now if you run this, check it out. It says now if you look at it, it first first it says is that uh, the thread value before private. And it's said to be thread num. Since I, I've not said thread num to be some arbitrary value, I, since I've not said this to be some value, the thread value before private is, is filled with a garbage value, which is 32688, so it doesn't matter. So once what hap once what happened is that what happens is that from here on, from here on, we are in the parallel parallel regime. So here it says thread value is set to be zero. The thread value is set to be zero. Uh, so instead of uh, so it, this indicates that this thread number is different entirely different from this thread number so this is this is not just a mere copy but rather it's actually a copy from it's it's not a, just a mere it's this is actually an independent variable for each thread that's what it's mean and and the th private class automatically initializes this a private variable thread thread num to be zero for each thread in the beginning that's why you get thread value to be zero and then the active thread is zero and after this active thread the thread number uh, thread value for uh, uh, for the third statement the thread is value is i mean uh, for the first statement the thread is zero the thread num thread value is zero i mean thread number is zero and the thread value is 100 okay and after this after this what happens is that none of the statement gets executed thread value is zero this may be for thread number active thread one two or three or depending on which thread was active which thread was active and now the active thread is one the thread value is zero this may be for active thread this may be for the thread value active thread three okay and then 
thread number three for the value of thread number three uh, thread value for the thread number three is 103 because of this modification and then thread number two is getting active and does this job and then thread two and everything goes on so what do you notice is that uh, what do you notice is that within the block within the block uh, wherever if, if, if you are using, modifying the value of thread num or anything is nothing nothing's going to happen it's not happening I mean no we don't need we don't face any race condition the thread number value is initialized from the beginning and it's initialized to be zero because of the private class for each thread it's initialized to zero and then and and the thread is a uh, thread is allowed to modify this thread number based on its convenience based on its convenience within the barrel block and this very uh, uh, modification uh, is only for one each thread and each thread since each thread has its own copy they modify their own copies they, but they don't, don't disturb the master copy or something so what happens is that when this parallel block is over okay when you print the thread num value after the parallel block we get the same result as we get on the top, top which is 32688 now one might have expected 100 or 103 or 102 or 101 Okay, instead of the instead of these values, we expect three two six eight eight, which is exactly the same value which we got on the top. So that's a pro that's a point of private class. What happens is that, what happens is that each thread has its own copy. The values are deleted after the scope. So when the scope begins, each the, the each private copy is initialized by the private private thing. That's why it says uh, the private variables need not be initialized because it automatically initializes. The class automatically initializes. Okay. Okay. Uh, that, that's the point. It automatically initializes, so you need not initialize them. Now, let's see. Let's run this with some initial uh, initialized value. Now, let me run this with an initialized value like twelve. Now, clearly, if I run this program right now, then something should be different. Okay. Now, let's see. Uh, now, let's see. Let me clear this up. So if you look at it, if when I set the thread num value to be 12, thread num value to be 12, it's not being used over here. Earlier the thread num value was not defined or not de not defined. So we had some different values over here, so which made sense. We we had a different value in this line and the uh, same corresponding value which was over here uh, printed over here. So that was you know that was logical. But here, even if even if I have a value set. Even if I have a value set, the value of the value of thread num before the pa uh, serial block is before the serial block is not at all used in the parallel block for any of the thread values, and that is what it's, that's what is happening over here. That's what is happening over here. Okay, and uh, here's the pro here's the problem. It's no matter what value of what uh, value I set outside, if I use a parallel block with a private thread. What happens is that it doesn't matter. All the values that I've defined on that before will be discarded. Will I mean will be kept will be will be kept as it is, and each and uh, separate copies will be made, and those separate variables will be created, and the values will be uh, initialized, and then they start using, and that's what happens over here. Uh, okay, that's the thing of private class. 